Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to be, I got something to show you here. So you might be thinking, Ted, you got earphones in here? I actually don't. Believe it or not, inside this case is the tiniest little camera I have ever used. This is awesome. This is the new Insta360 GO 2 and it is tiny. So what is the usefulness of having a really small camera? Hold on a second, I wanna show you something. Now, I've talked about this topic before, and I think there's something to be said for having a professional camera that's gonna give you really professional results and a lot of control over things. And then there's content that you want to make in the moment, whether that's something for YouTube, whether that's something for Instagram, social media, you name it. In the past, I have used a lot of cameras. I've used these extensively. I've shot a lot of video on them. This is an old point and shoot from Canon. Nobody makes these anymore. We've kind of moved on. And of course, then there's the GoPro, which have come a long way in recent years but this is giving it a lot of competition. You can see that here's GoPro size. So the GoPro is small, but not this small. That's the Go 2. And of course, phones are really good. They're always with you. But the one complaint I have with making content on a phone, particularly if you're filming video, is phone calls and text messages can pop up if you forget to put it into Do Not Disturb. So Insta360 sent me the Go 2 and said, would you like to check this out? And we would like to sponsor video. I said, absolutely. This really intrigues me. So the thing that's cool about the Go 2 are there are three modes that you can run this in. So first of all is standalone mode. So we're just gonna use this as the camera. So how do you do all this stuff? Well, there's a button on the front. And so if I press this button and hold it in, it'll start recording a video. So now I'm filming and I press it again to stop. You can also take still photos. You can do time lapses. It has a lot of functionality just on its own. Also cool is there are accessories. Some of them come with the GoTo and then you can get some as options and I'll show you these too. So one of the ones that comes in the box is this little magnet and it comes on a necklace here. So I could do something like put this over my head. I can hide it in my shirt. I can pop the GoTo on. The GoTo is magnetic. So I'm just gonna stick that on and then I am ready for hands-free recording. Also worth noting are some of the other accessories that are available. This is the mount adapter bundle. There's three different mounts in here. We've got standard tripod and then two GoPro versions as well as mounts and 3M sticky tape. So you can pretty much mount this camera anywhere. There's also a USB power mount. This is really cool. It has the connection here so you can pop in the Go 2 lock it in place and it has a USB-C connector. There is a cable in this box. So you can pretty much run this indefinitely if you've got something really long you have to film, well, at least until your card is full. And finally, for that cinematic look, there is a set of ND filters. Come in this really nice magnetic box for safekeeping and you have an ND8, 16, 32, and 64. These are like sunglasses when you put these over the lens, take off the protective filter that's on there. This is just a daylight filter and then it allows you to turn and twist and get that cinematic low frame rate look in bright sunlight. Now what's really cool is the GoTo uses a technology that Insta360 called Flow State, which is essentially image stabilization. It's as good or probably better than anything that I've seen in the action camera arena. And the other cool thing is it doesn't matter which way you hold this thing. So if I'm just gonna handhold and it's not attached to a magnet, if I accidentally am getting carried away and I'm getting distracted and I've turned it like horizontal, it doesn't matter. It will keep the video in frame, which is very cool. You can also specify whether you want vertical video or horizontal video. So if you're making something for Instagram stories, you can go vertical and it still doesn't matter. You can turn it however you want. Remember, the idea is this is dead simple to use and that you can capture things just in the moment. So those are some ways that you can run this camera just in standalone mode. Now, a second way you can set this up to run is actually using the case. Now, the case you're going to see there's an LCD screen, a couple buttons. So this is going to give you a little bit more options and a little bit more visual confirmation of what you're doing. Now, the other thing that I want to note here is the Go 2 will give you from its internal battery about 30 minutes minutes of video recording time, which for vlogging, stuff like that is more than enough. Bring the case with you, stick it in the case when you're not using it. This will give you an additional hour of recording time or charge for recording time. It's pretty awesome. So the way that this works is you're going to open this up and it's going to say press to connect. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button on the right hand side. It's going to say connecting and we are ready to rock. So now if I've got this on the magnet on my shirt or something, I can control everything with the remote here. You can even have this across the room and you can use this to start and stop without having to get up, which is very cool. So two buttons on here, dead simple to use. So you have a record button or that's essentially the action button on the left and a selection button on the right. So if I scroll through here, so we've got our video mode, we've got photo mode, we've got pro video mode, time shift, time lapse, 
HDR video, slow-mo, and then I round robin into my settings that I can go through, and then you're back to the top at the video mode again. When you're in any of these modes, just hit the red record button to either take an image or start and stop a video. Or if you're in the settings mode, this is actually what enters the settings, and you can scroll through the settings using the navigation button on the right. I also want to note how well designed this case is. So if you're for some reason you're filming something that's a little more long form and you need all the battery power possible, you can put this in here and it's got a tripod socket at the bottom so I can mount that way. Or if you don't have a tripod handy, well, the case actually turns into a tripod. It's got two little back legs here. Put that on a table, position this however you want it, and you're good to record. Which brings me to the third mode that you can set this up in, which is actually to use the Insta360 app. So what you're going to do is go to the App Store, you're going to download this, and what it does is it connects to the camera via Bluetooth. You're going to have a live view if you want to compose that way, and a lot more options in terms of what you want to do. Now, what's cool is this will record in several different modes. You're going to have a lot more control over things like frame rate resolution, and then more importantly for me at least is field of view. So if you don't want an action camera view to this, you can select something like linear or narrow. Everything looks really good on here. You're also going to have access to all of your footage through the app. The way this works is that to get footage off of here, you're going to actually download it onto your mobile device, and then you can put it on your camera roll or something like that. And you can also control colors and editing and all kinds of cool stuff just from within the app. So three different ways to run this, and all are pretty powerful, and each have their own kind of function and situation that you would want to use them in. So now, the important question, what does the footage look like? Let's go check it out. And because it's a little warm today, we have to do a little modification on the Jeep here. about this is the audio is really good. Just saying. Also want to note, the image stabilization, what Insta360 calls flow state, is incredible on this camera. As I mentioned earlier, it's as good or better than any other action camera that I've used to date. I'm just using this on a selfie stick and it's like gimbal quality. It looks really good. So I didn't time this really well because it's backlit, but I do want to show you, tis the season. This is Christmas in Fort Worth the big tree. In fact, let's do a little hyperlapse. Not bad. Insta360 calls this time shift. It's incredibly easy to do. Literally, I took this off the selfie stick and I just held it and walked around the tree a couple times. Kind of amazing. I'll give you a little lay of the land here. So trees back here and down there is the spaceship. It's way down there. We're parked next to it. I'll show it to you when we get back. Which brings me to another interesting point that I want to make. You know, the cool thing with all these cameras is the tools that we have to make cool things now is pretty amazing. And sure, there's advantages to having a larger camera and that has its own place. But to have something this small and this portable. I carry less, I'm not thinking about it as much, and it allows me to tell a story and make really cool content. It's awesome. Some of you may also be wondering how the Go 2 compares with something like just a GoPro or some of the other action cameras out there. So I think it's kind of two sides to this. So on one hand, some of the other action cameras do outspec this one a little bit, mainly in terms of the resolution that you get into with video, like they'll do an actual 4K. This one is 1440. I have upscaled this entire video to match my other footage, so you're watching it in 4K, and chances are you probably haven't even thought about it since I just mentioned it. But the major advantage to the Insta360 Go 2 is clearly the size and also the ways that you can use it. You can use it with the case, you can go super small and just use it on its own, you can also use it with your phone. So it gives you a lot of versatility. It also gives you a lot of versatility with mounts. They make a ton of mounts for this thing. You can mount it to GoPro accessories, you can also mount it to standard tripods. That's a beef that I've always had with GoPro stuff. To get it onto a regular tripod or something that would fit a normal camera, you have to adapt everything with the weird adapter. Well, Insta360 has you covered. I've actually been
been having a lot of fun with the Insta360 Go 2, and you should check it out too. I mean, just in terms of the compact size, the portability, image quality is quite excellent. And the fact that you have this stealth little camera that you can use in situations that larger cameras would never allow you to do. So if you were interested in checking one of these out for yourselves, you've got a holiday promotion on right now. So look in the link in the description below, check that out and uh, give it a try. I'm loving this little camera. If you got any questions, drop those in a comment. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, later.